This is 9 and 10 News at 6 on Northern Michigan's News Leader. I was very, very scared that something bad had happened. This car went on a wild ride, all because of two five-year-olds. It was the last day of summer vacation for the two kids, and the kids ended their vacation with a bang, a crashing bang. The kids got the keys to their sister's car, drove it around a neighborhood in the Oceana County town of Shelby, and crashed the car into a tree. 9 and 10's Dan Farkas spoke with people involved in the accident today. Dan, how are the kids doing? Well, Trish, it's unbelievable, but the kids are okay. Just some bumps and bruises, which is quite frankly a miracle when you consider the nightmare these kids went through. Five-year-old twins Jeremy and Justice like their cars. Little cars. Big cars. I don't know. I was very, very scared that something bad had happened. It all started when their older sister took a nap, a nap that ended with a nightmare. They didn't think that they had done anything wrong. The twins swiped her keys they got in the car. Just as drove, Jeremy handled the pedals down below. The two did a yard job in mom's yard. Then they took out this sign. Then they ran through this sign. Then the twins zigged and zagged all through the road. They plowed through a pole. They then hopped a bike path, finally landing near these trees. It was a nightmarish ride, and it was all real. Basically, I'm just on hold right now until I can figure out what I can do about another car. And just look at the car. It is totaled. It's a complete wreck, as is the sister psyche. I loved it. <laughs> it, was, it was a dream come true. I, I guess I can't be mad because they're five. And I know, like, I think that they know what they're doing, but I don't know. So why did you guys take the car? Mm -hmm. And they really couldn't answer that question. And no one could answer this question. How do you do all of this damage and come out with only a few scratches? I don't know. I'm just glad that they're okay. And hopefully aware of the moral to this nightmarish tale. Never ever drive. Not until we get our license if they would have only learned that a couple of days ago. As for police, they're not going to charge the five-year-olds with anything. They're letting mom be the judge and jury, and mom says she's up for the job. We are live in the newsroom. Dan Farkas, 9 in 10 News.